Come with me, come and see all the wonders there will be in my stories, in my songs, in everything where fun belongs. We'll meet heroes, giants bold, is it lands or tall and gold, have magic tricks to shiver your skin, blast galore with animals in our world of fun. Hi, Piper, hi! You know, sometimes good fortune comes to us in the most unexpected way, and just when things look blackest. Our tale today is about a poor young man named Peter who set off to seek his fortune carrying all his worldly goods on his back. But he was so simple and trusting that before long he got cheated out of everything he owned. I'm an old woman hanging on a thread. Indeed, I would, old one, but I have no money. Then I'll trade you something for what you've got on your back. This valuable old horn, for instance. Is it really valuable? Indeed it is. For you could make your fortune by playing it for money. Say, that's right. Good enough, old one. You've made a bargain. I have indeed. For the horn is worthless. It won't even play. But the horn was not as worthless as the old woman imagined. It was a magic horn. And although it would not play, it could never be lost or stolen, for it always returned to its rightful owner. And it had another magic quality which Peter was soon to discover. Now, friends, I'm going to play a concert for you. And you may pay me as much as it pleases you. Ready? Hey, wait a minute! Where did everyone go? Unfortunately, it was the same wherever he went. At the first on the magic horn, everyone disappeared. And poor Peter didn't earn a single penny. He got hungrier and hungrier until finally he learned that the king was looking for a shepherd to herd the royal sheep. Well, I might as well try that. At least I ought to be able to use this old thing to call sheep. Mind you do a good job. All the shepherds I've had so far have lost a lot of my prized sheep. I'll do my best, sire. And so he began his new life as a shepherd. Uh-oh, the sheep are wandering. I'll bring them back with my horn. But as usual, the opposite happened. This is too much. Can't I do anything right? I treated everything I had for this, and all it's brought me is trouble. I ought to throw it away. I wonder. No, that's ridiculous. Still, maybe. At last, Peter had discovered the real secret of the magic horn. My goodness! Won't the king be surprised? And indeed, the king was. Look at that! Isn't he clever? I wonder how he managed it. He must have done it with that old horn of his. He doesn't have anything else. We've got to get that horn away from him and find out for ourselves. But it wasn't as easy as it sounded. There you are. There was nothing to it. Nothing to it is right. Yes, Father dear. The bag is empty. What? That young man has a few things to explain. And thinking that he was to be given a reward for his good work, Peter came happily into the throne room. We want to know how that horn works. Well, it's like this. Never mind the explanations. Show us. You want me to show you right here, Your Majesty? Of course he does. He's the king, and that's his command. Very well, then. And suddenly, the entire royal family found themselves taking some unusual exercise. Where did you get that horn? What did it cost you? It cost me all my worldly goods, and I'm beginning to think it was worth it. Well, it's a clever toy. I'll give you 50 horses? No. 20 casks of treasure? No. A position as my prime minister? No. I don't want any of those things, Your Majesty. I only want the princess. No, never. It simply won't do. Now, listen here. Your Majesty, Your Majesty, terrible news. We're being invaded. The enemy are coming through the hills. They'll be here any minute. What? Call off the army. Uh, 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 we can't, sire. The army has run away. Well, call off the... Uh, call off... 
call out, Peter, father? Yes. I will fight them, sire. My boy, you can have the princess, the horses, the treasure, at any position you ask. Yes, anything. Only save us. Thank you. But your lovely daughter is all I ask. And so Peter went out and faced the enemy single-handed. And so the old woman's nasty bargain brought Peter happiness and good fortune. And everything turned out for the best after all. Say, I wonder where that magic horn is now.